Hello friends, today we will learn about the natural resources of our country, forest and wildlife. Natural resources are gifts to man by nature. These resources include air, water, land, forests and minerals. Some of them are found in a limited quantity, whereas others are found in a large quantity. These can be classified as 1. Exhaustible or non-renewable 2. Inexhaustible or renewable Coal and petroleum are the examples of non-renewable resources. Air and water are the examples of renewable resources. In this lesson, we will study about our forests and wildlife. Forests or jungles are those large areas of land which are thickly covered with trees. Generally, these areas are away from cities and towns. Most of the hilly areas and plateaus are covered with forests. These forests are very useful to man. Do you know, plant species are called flora and animal species are called fauna. In India, nearly 25% of land is covered with forests. Whereas it should have a minimum of 33%. We have not yet realized the importance of forests. The forest department looks after the forests in our country. Forests are a home to wild animals. Different types of animals and birds live in these forests. These animals get their food from the forests. Forests give us timber which is used for making furniture, railway sleepers, houses, matchsticks and many other useful things. Thus, they are a source of raw material for many industries. Forests help in controlling floods and checking soil erosion. They reduce the flow of water and save soil from being washed away. So, forests help in the conservation of soil. Forests help in causing rain. Forested areas receive more rain. Forests also provide us with food and fruit. Forests help in keeping the environment pollution free. Amazing fact! There are about 49,000 different species of plants found in India. The different types of forests found in India are 1. Evergreen forests 2. Deciduous forests 3. Thorny and scrub forests 4. Mountain forests 5. Mangrove forests Evergreen forests are also known as tropical rainforests. They are found in areas with hot and humid climate with heavy rainfall. Evergreen forests have a variety of trees. In these forests, different trees shed their leaves in different seasons. Therefore, evergreen forests look green throughout the year. The trees in these forests are tall. The height of some trees may be more than 50 meter. They are dense. Sometimes it becomes difficult for the sun rays to reach the ground as the leaves of the trees form a canopy or roof on the top. The main trees of these forests are ebony, mahogany and rosewood. These forests are found in the following areas of India. A. The windward slopes of the western Ghats. The slopes of the mountain faces the wind and receives heavy rain. B. Hills of Northeast India, C. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Deciduous forests are also called monsoon forests. These form a major part of our forests. The trees in these forests shed their leaves in the dry season. The main trees of these forests are the teak, sal, shisham, bamboo and sandalwood. These forests are found in the following areas of India. A. The foothills of the Himalayan mountains. B. In the western parts of the southern Deccan Plateau. C. In the states of Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Bihar. Thorny forests have trees with sharp thorns and small leaves. They are found in areas with less rainfall. Trees in these forests have the following features. A. Long roots. B. Small leaves. C. Thick bark. D. Sharp thorns. The main trees of these forests are the kikar, babool and the date balm. They are found mostly in the dry areas of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. Mountain forests or coniferous forests are found in the Himalayan region and others hilly areas. 
different types of trees are found at different heights. The cheer, deodar, fir, and spruce are the important trees of the coniferous forests. Mangrove forests are found in the delta regions. These are also called tidal forests. The sundri tree is an important tree of these forests. In India, mangrove forests are found in the delta of the Ganga River. The Sundarban forests, which have been named after the Sundri tree, are found in West Bengal and Bangladesh. Do you know? The Sundarban forests are a home to the Royal Bengal Tiger. Our ignorance has led to the depletion of our forests. We have less forest area than the minimum required. We are also facing problems of floods and drought because of the removal of forests. To check floods and drought, we must try to preserve or protect our forested area and must take all precautions so that forests do not shrink. They protect wildlife and are beneficial to human beings in many ways. The following steps should be taken to conserve forests. A. Forest laws must be obeyed strictly. Small trees should not be cut and trees should be planted regularly. B. People should be made aware of the importance of forests. C. Tribal people should check grazing of animals. Numerous efforts are being made by the government to encourage the people to participate in the growing of trees. Example, Vanamahud Sava. Some well-known movements with respect to the conservation of trees are the Chipko movement in Uttarakhand. The participation of the Bishnois of Rajasthan against the killing of the rare species of deer and the Apiko Chaluvali movement in Karnataka. The climate and vegetation of India differs from region to region. So, India has a wide variety of animals, birds and reptiles. But, day by day the number of our wild animals is decreasing. Our government is making several efforts to protect endangered species by setting up wildlife sanctuaries and reserves. We have many wildlife sanctuaries and national parks. Some of them are one. Kaziranga National Park in Assam provides protection for rhinos. 2. Karbat National Park in Uttarakhand for the protection of tigers. 3. Sundarbans National Park in West Bengal protects tigers, especially Bengal tigers. 4. Manas Wildlife Sanctuary in Assam. 5. Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary in Kerala. 6. Bandipur National Park in Karnataka protects tigers. 7. Kanha National Park in Madhya Pradesh 8. Gir National Park in Gujarat 9. Sariska Tiger Reserve, Ranthambor and Bharatpur Bird in Rajasthan 10. Madhumalai Wildlife Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu These national parks and wildlife sanctuaries have been set up for the protection of wildlife such as rhinos, Bengal tiger, leopard, turtle, gharial, birds etc. Wildlife Sanctuaries It is a natural protected area within which wildlife is protected. Animals here cannot be hunted and are preserved to prevent them from becoming extinct. National Parks National parks are owned by the country to maintain the natural beauty, geological features, ecosystems and recreational opportunities. Zoological Gardens It is a place where wild animals are kept for exhibition, conservation and study. They are confined within exclosures in which they are bred. Let us summarize. Land covered with natural vegetation is called forest area. The Indian forest area is less than the required 33% of total land. We must increase the forest area. Forests give us many things such as raw materials for industries, food and shelter to wildlife. There are many types of forests in India. Most of our country is covered with deciduous forests. Other types of forests are the evergreen, thorny, mountain and mangrove, tidal forests. In India, wildlife is rich and varied, though some species are disappearing. Our government is taking steps to protect the wildlife. 